Hi, I'm Henry Chen. I'm here to show you how to update your financial models in five minutes or less. Now, if you're like me, you're an investment analyst or a financial analyst, you have your models, and one of the main pain points in your day-to-day uh, -day working life is every now and then a company reports their quarterly earnings and you take their press release and you have to hard code in one at a time each of the values. So you would take for example this company and you look at its um, you look at its reported financials and and I see look I'm having to find oh man okay so I'm looking for 1Q and I have to update resources and what you're doing is you're typing it in one at a time there's errors you have to update the formats and it's just a huge pain so there's got to be a way to automate this and there is uh, one way that we can do is we can use a tool uh, written using VBA to look up uh, the past values in each of these tables and use that to input the correct value for this year. Um, that way we don't have to teach the model how to do anything beyond just finding a way to look up the prior year values. So here's a solution for this. Um, Here's some software that we can use to do this. Now this is the updater sheet. This is the loader, um, what you can call to put in the raw data. So what I did is I downloaded the financial statements or the press release using FactSet to get the, uh, the three different statements here. I have the income, balance sheet, cash flow, and these are all the things that come from um, the company. You can also download this from their website. I'm sure that you're aware of that as well. I also took in the tables for the segment numbers, that's revenues, um, the adjustments, and the earnings by segment. So I have all the data here, and so the first thing I can do, and this can be automated in the future as well, is I just paste this all into this loader over here. So I have all the data, and it's just a simple categorization, putting last year's column in here, this year's column in here, which tends to actually match up with the format that it's released in. Okay, so now what we're going to have the <clears throat> script do is we're going to uh, point it in the direction of, of this data set. We're going to run it uh, for each last year's data set one by one. And first we're going to copy over the values to here. We're going to copy over the formulas to here so we keep these formulas and keep things like percentages um, calculations over to here and we're just going to look it up one at a time just like how you would in the press release to look up uh, the prior year value and then input in the new, va new year value. The only thing is this will be 100% accurate. So let's see this in action. So how do you use this? So first thing you do is you just select last year's value. I'm going to do this um, each statement at a time and just show you how it's not going to mess up um, any uh, values here. Um, second thing, I'm just going to paste that over here. So now it's going to start looking over here for what to update. Let's push OK. And boom! Alright! So extremely fast. We've updated the majority of the model. And what this code will do is it will highlight the cells where there is no match. And you can see this because it's in the, the adjustments. Um, sometimes those are uh, not as um, common for each quarter and then what it will also do is it also look for duplicates so that's just to make sure if there are duplicate values in the raw sheet just to double check that it matched to the right value right um, so that's great let me also show you I have the balance sheet I'm going to do the same thing copy over here um, copy that and let's update this. Okay, now we got the rest of this update. Now you can see because they don't report their balance sheet, um, that's something that I'll just paste that back over here and I'll just have to fix that. Um, but you can see it updated everything else and it just highlighted this as these two values. Um, there were some duplicates here. So we have the balance sheet, those are all filled out and now we can do the cash flow and 
uh, cash flow if your models are similar to this. Since cash flow is always looking up, um, uh, it's always year to date. So one of the ways the script will do is it will look into the formulas and just cap look at the values to update. So let me just show you how it'll work here. I'm just going to grab that, copy that, and select that. And there you go. And now it's updated nearly every single value. Um, you can see this kept my formulas, and it just updated the actual values over here. And there you have it. Within two minutes, we've updated um, nearly all of the financial sheet. We just have a couple of cells to check. So uh, it's just about one, two, three, four, about five or six cells, maybe one here, one here to check, and everything else is updated. Um, and now I could show you just some of the fixing. I'm just It'll just take one or two minutes just to double check all these numbers look correct. Um, there you have it. That's how you can update your models in five minutes or less. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Um, I'm happy to help uh, customize this, um, but hopefully this can be valuable for you too. Thanks.